Hello very much to you and welcome to today's virtual church where we are celebrating, I suppose is not the right word, but remembering um, Passion Sunday, um, which I think in olden times, less so now actually, marks the season of Passion Tide, the final two weeks before we get into the resurrection of Jesus. Holy Week is obviously next week, Palm Sunday is next Sunday. Today traditionally was called Passion Tide Sunday. So the first piece that you heard, O Mensch Vivine by Bach, is a, a wonderful chorale from the Orgel Buchlein, O Man Weep for Your Great Sin. And then we went into the Passion Chorale from the St. Matthew Passion by Bach, obviously. Those um, people who are particularly um, eagle-eyed will have noticed that we have the launch pads on the music desk here, much to my dismay. And we are, for that purpose, for that reason, we are in Gerlitz. So, you are all very welcome. Please do introduce yourselves in the chat. Please do say hello. Whether you're new, whether you're old, or whether you're just cruising on by, please do just say hello and introduce yourselves. It's wonderful to know who we have in the congregation today from around the world. I do hope you don't mind the new start time. Obviously, we just need to just curtail these virtual churches a little bit um, just because we have a new member of the family arriving any minute now. It could even all kick off during virtual church. So you might have to excuse us if I say, will you excuse me a second? <laughs> um, but looking, everything looks okay just now. So the next hymn is a bit more uplifting. It's um, a request from Andantino, who, who is um, one of our patrons. I think you all know who the patrons are now, but I will mention it because um, I'm so grateful for your support. She has requested uh, Christ triumphant, ever reigning saviour, master, king. The tune is called Guiding Power and it's by John Barnard. The words are by Michael um, Sourd or Sourd. Five verses of this wonderful, um, wonderfully uplifting tune.
Thank you very much. Anne, what a wonderful tune. It's actually a lot of fun to play that hymn. The music, the, the actual music itself is a lot of fun to play, to get your fingers around and those sort of um, interludes between the, some of the lines in the organ part um, makes it so much fun. It's good. Thank you very much for requesting that. Next one, uh, in the cross of Christ I glory, towering over the wrecks of time, all the light of sacred story gathers round its head sublime. Thank you very much for, for requesting this. Jay, another one of our patrons, just a very quick, a very, very, very quick um, thank you for last week. The last time, last week we were doing the organ marathon and we still had a long way to go. Bearing in mind here in the UK, it's about 20 past six in the evening, started at seven o'clock in the morning, I still had a way to go. Thank you all so much for your support, generosity, and encouragement throughout the entire day. Um, it was nice of you just to pop in um, occasionally throughout the day. That was exactly what I intended. I didn't intend anyone to say that stay for the entire thing. It was just a, a design, so you could just pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out. And some of you did that, so thank you very much indeed. I will do a retrospective uh, about the entire day uh, very soon. I'll try to do it um, in the coming weeks, but obviously things might get suddenly really busy. Uh, but needless to say, we raised a good amount of money. Um, certainly, um, we'll go towards the organ and we'll um, create a dent in the fundraising target. And I'll also talk about um, how it made me feel in terms of physically and mentally in the uh, in the video. Uh, some par parts of me think, thought I, I could go on because I was just really sort of uh, get, you know, had the um, adrenaline going and I was really enjoying myself, but physically was feeling quite tired in my legs particularly. And oddly enough, just here in my, in my, uh, in my right hand, never felt that before. Never felt it before. I haven't felt it since. But I think it was just playing, using the fingers for 16 hours, just was a bit tiring. It's, yes, it was 16 hours thereabouts. So I do hope that you feel like you got your money's worth. <laughs> okay, Jay, so in the cross of Christ I glory, towering over the wrecks of time.
asked one of the hazards about having these launch pads. see if we can get this fired back up. That was all very annoying. Um, got my microphone, put the microphone back on the tie and hopefully we should be back online. So not, we had a little power cut there guys, a very very tiny power cut which um, caused the everything to just flicker. I don't know whether you saw it just before everything went off but everything flickered. Um, I was just saying actually that the, one of the launch pads had just fallen off um, the music desk. And as soon as I did that, it just um, caused, well, I don't know whether it caused it or not, but the house lights flickered and we lost the power. So obviously we lose the power, um, the router uh, resets and the internet is broken. But I think we've managed to re-establish the connection. So let's crack on, I think. I think the good thing about this video when it goes live after we click end stream, I think YouTube will just actually cut out that, um, that uh, blank bit. So if you watch it back, you probably won't even notice. You'll probably just see me sort of uh, standing in front of the camera there. Okay, well, that's never happened before. The next hymn is uh, For the Healing of the Nations. Lord, with, Lord we pray with one accord. Um, for a just and equal sharing of the things that earth affords. James, you just got, managed to get this one, you're very lucky. Thank you very much, James, for requesting this. James, one of our patrons. Here we go, let's see if we can carry on without any more power cuts.
I'm very grateful to you all for um, sticking around, actually. It's very tempting, I think, um, when something goes wrong and just the stream sort of goes off to just click, oh, uh, end and go and watch another video. But thank you very much for sticking around. It's very good of you. Um, yeah, I don't know what caused that. I really, I'm really surprised that the computers didn't go off because of the slightest blip uh, in power, um, as some of you techie folk will know, um, uh, you know, surge protection and all of that, computers will just go off. Um, but didn't. Amazing. So we're very fortunate that we managed to get away with that relatively unscathed. Um, okay, King Loudrup, all the way up in Scotland. Uh, for the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, to the second tune, uh, Lucerna uh, Laudonie. Okay, so five verses with the uh, refrain. Don't think I know this tune, so it'll be, it'll be nice to... Oh, I do know this tune. Yes, it's a nice change to the usual England's Lane. Thank you very much, um, uh, King, for requesting uh, this one. I just had a flashback uh, during that hymn, actually, to my time in Truro. Um, I don't know whether you've noticed, but I've, I've been to Truro. <laughs> um, and on the day of recording, on the Friday, 
We recorded the, Friday, uh, the recital on the Friday. I arrived on Thursday night, uh, recorded Friday, and then I came home Friday evening. Um, and on when we the last piece that we recorded uh, was the Jerusalem um, variations on Veni Creato, which actually finishes a recital. And we, I was listening in the nave, and I, I spent most of my time during his playing in the nave, just walking around and getting pictures and videos. And it was just a really wonderful place to be, you know, listening to the organ um, from around different parts of the cathedral was a real, real treat. Anyway, he played the, the, the uh, Jerufle, um, you know, the, the introduction, uh, which is an E major, uh, well, it's in E major, A major, really, um, but it's in E major, D naturals. And there was this, whenever he played bottom E, there was this really funny sound from the organ and it sounded like um, it, it, he was playing an F in the pedal and what it was was something on the pedal was clearly out of tune and it was the uh, and this is what reminded me of this little anecdote I went to grab the um, the pedal octave or the pedal Sorry. going well today Let's just see. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's, Nala. It's, it's blame Nala. Nala actually took us off air then. Can you make sure she doesn't do it again, please? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Caroline's got a. Um, um, it's all happening today, isn't it? What could what else could go wrong? I wonder. Um, so Caroline's got one of. You can't quite see it. One of those on the um, on her table, and on the bottom right of that is a button which says. Um, live and then basically you press that button and we go offline so Caroline uh, had the button next to Nala and Nala's on the table pressing all the buttons so sorry about that uh, yeah so basically with the Trora I don't know I don't know how much of that you even heard to be honest um, we had to re-record the entire Dufle, um because of the of this one pedal note which was which was horrendously out of tune hopefully uh, during the recital you won't be able to hear that note there are some moments in the in the louder sections like in the in the uh, Robka etc uh, where he uses the that stop and then that note and you can just hear it just overblowing um, so listen out for that anyway let's just go on let's crack on so we're finishing at 7 30 tonight um, in case anything uh, starts to happen with uh, family growth reasons um, this is a request here from Jerry um, and then it's in it's in in Gaelic so I can't possibly read it unfortunately um, but the translation um, is pray for us, St. Patrick. Obviously, it was St. Patrick's Day uh, during the week. Um, hi, Jerry. So thank you very much for requesting this. So this is pray for us, uh, St. Patrick.
So one of the unique things about the um, the community here and the way the way beauty and sound rolls is, can you name me another organist online who has been taken offline by a cat? There are a number of other organists on YouTube at the minute, but can any of them claim to have been knocked off air by their cat? I think that's a um, an award that we should have, basically. Okay, the next hymn here is um, one that I played uh, to you last night on the Truro organ demonstration. Love Divine and Love's Excelling um, to the wonderful tune Blind Worm by William Rowlands. Three verses of this wonderful hymn. Do you want me to do a, a similar thing as I did in Truro with a, a uh, crescendo? I will. Did you notice in the, in the first verse I went to pull out the solo um, orchestral oboe, but it, def it refused to come out, so you didn't get to hear the orchestral oboe in the first verse, unfortunately. Let's see if we can have the, the equivalent stop today, though. Okay, so this is Love Divine, um, or Love's Excelling, to the tune A Blind Worm.
Of course, that's one thing that Truro doesn't have, of course, a Zimbelstern. And one thing which makes me smile every time I use a Zimbelstern is it always ends on that, on that, um, on that bell. Listen to that single ping at the end. <laughs> um, well, I think you'd, hopefully you'll agree if those of you who watched that organ demonstration uh, last night, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't watched it, please do go back and watch it. it was, um, it's a really, really, really wonderful organ down in Truro and you, you won't regret it, it's stunning. It's a four manual, uh, so more, one more keyboard than we have here, um, organ of a very, very modest size. It's called a little giant. It, that's what its nickname is. And it really, really is. It gives organs twice its size a run for its money in terms of um, volume. You know, it's like having a, um, it's, it's almost like a hot hatch of a car. You know, it doesn't look like much, it looks quite small, but it certainly goes. It goes a lot faster than some of the bigger cars. And I can't wait to bring you the organ recital on Easter Monday. Please do put that in your diary. It'll probably go on mid-afternoon, uh, Easter Monday. Please, please, I would love it if you could tune in to that. It'll be a premiere, um, and I would love it if you could join, because the organ sounds phenomenal, amazing. <clears throat> Keith, man of sorrows, what a name for the Son of God who came ruined sinners to reclaim. Hallelujah, what a saviour. Thank you very much, Keith, for requesting this. Keith's another one of our uh, patrons. Keith's um, also a dear friend. So it's a, it's a real honor to play um, Keith's request. Okay, I'm not sure I know this one, Keith, so let's see how we get on.
think someone mentioned in the chat about um, the lack of, uh, in, in last night's video, the demonstration when I was playing the blind man, the lack of pistons, the using the pistons. Well, yes, indeed. Um, this is one of the reasons why, you know, I, I, I was brought up with um, stops, physical stops, and just got so used to um, turning that light down a bit, getting blinded. It's got so used to using uh, organs in in the context of a, a church or cathedral service, having to register things, register things on the fly. For example, in the Psalms, where you might have thirty or forty verses, um, all accompanied, and all verses re um, require word painting. <clears throat> And it's best just to add single stops here and there and take single stops off. Using divisionals often results in a clumpy um, crescendo or diminuendo. And therefore, you know, like, so you just have to just pull out, you know, some foundation stops or a four foot flute. But once you get used to doing it, once you get used to what sound it is that you're trying to achieve next, whether you want to add a bit more grit yeah, a bit more grit, all you need to do is add one stop for grit, and that might be the 16-foot um, the swell reed, or the 8-foot reed, or even the oboe, one of those. One stop will do it with the box under control. It's one of the reasons why um, the, the new organ that I've commissioned is physical stops. I am so convinced and adamant that, and this is advice to anyone who's learning the organ, or who's wanting to build a handwork, uh, take it from me, someone who's experienced in playing real life organs and playing handwork, I've got best of both worlds there. Um, you can't do registrations like I did on Truro or just then with touch screens. It's just impossible to do, really, really impossible because you're always just pressing those buttons, missing the buttons, pressing them again and then focusing on putting your finger in the right place to press it, not with your nail, because it won't press with your nail, and it takes away your concentration. So if you want to do registrations like that, on the hoof, touch screens are not the way forwards, which is why it wasn't a way forward for me, just ruled out straight away. Physical stops all the way, all the way for me. It's wonderful being able just to look around, oh, I haven't got that on. The next hymn is How Deep the Father's Love for Us. Um, I should actually say, sorry, the, the, the previous hymn uh, was uh, Blind Worm was requested by a story angel. Uh, so thank you very much for requesting that. The next hymn is How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, uh, that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. This is a wonderful um, hymn with wonderful words for the season of Passion Tide. It's very relevant. Verse 2. Behold the man upon the cross, my sin upon his, uh, upon his shoulders. So wonderful words, um, very poignant words, and, and, and really wonderful music. Thank you very much to Julian, another one of our patrons, for requesting this. Today, by the way, is J.S. Bach's birthday. So if you have any, um, JS, the voluntary tonight will be Bach, obviously. But if you have any requests, please do get them in quick, because... Uh, today's VC is a little bit shortened than normal, although we might go 10 minutes over or so just because we've lost a bit of time, power cuts and all of that sort of stuff. So, how deep the father's love for us, for Julian.
Isn't that really beautiful? Thank you very much, Julian, for requesting that one. It's, uh, it features on the Lent hymns video that I put online at the beginning of Lent, conducted by yours truly. And it was just such a wonderful hymn to sing, because it's all unison. I think you guys know that I like unison hymns because there's something about the way everyone comes together and sings a hymn in unison that you don't get in a normal um, uh, homophonic hymn. And that one is unison all the way through, and it's really wonderful to have a bit of a crescendo in the third verse. Katie would like to hear, for all the saints, well, Nala's in the, um, in the doghouse, as it were. So I don't think she'll be coming um, on the organ today because she's, she took us offline earlier. So let's have um, this without a cat, and possibly, Katie, if you don't mind, because we are a little short on time today, we won't have all eight verses. Shall we have one, two, um, one, two, four, seven, eight. One, two, four, seven, eight. Is that all right? Okay, so Katie uh, has been in our community for a very long time and always leaves very nice comments on my videos and in the chat. So you're very welcome indeed, Katie. Thank you very much for all of your support. For all the saints who from their labours rest.
I did say only four verses, I think, but I was rather enjoying it, so I gave you six. <laughs> this organ just does everything, doesn't it? I really would love to play um, something like the Roibke on this organ or the Hedy Willen in Instruments and Passacaglia and Fugue on this organ. It does everything so well. It has all the colours you could possibly ever want, I think. Um, when we get to heaven, is the next the name of the next hymn, but it's not the first line. The first words, the first line is are uh, the first line is sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. And then here 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 is the title, it's the refrain. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus will sing and shout the victory. Yay. So, Kev and Mary, thank you very much for bringing this to, uh, to my attention. I don't know whether this is popular with you guys over in America, but certainly here in England, I think most of us would be um, a little unsure of the tune if we were presented with it in a church service. So let's, let me solo out the tune just for a couple of verses so we can get used to it. So when we get, when, when we all that's important when we all get to heaven. We'll have a big party, won't we? So thank you very much, Kev and Mary, for requesting this one.
Well, I'm so glad that um, you guys knew that and so glad that it was um, obviously well known in America uh, and better well known in America than it is certainly, uh, dare I say, it's amongst my generation. I've never um, sung, sung that as a chorister or played this in any church or you know, place of worship that I've ever worked. So it's really wonderful and um, eye-opening to, to hear these hymns, these worldly hymns. You know, it's a really cool thing to experience. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ian, for your donation just now. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but lost and poor contempt on all my pride. The tune is called Rockingham, and this is, certainly is a very well-known tune, certainly in this country, um, synonymous with the season of Passion Tide, simply um, down to the first line, when I survey the wondrous cross. A wonderful tune, this. A wonderful, wonderful tune. It says slower at the beginning, so I will play it quite slow. It's a quite a powerful tune, this. Quite a powerful one. So you need to really uh, absorb and take in the words, and I think also the harmony as well. Thank you very much, Sean, for requesting this. I'm delighted to play it for you.
Thank you very much, Sean. What a beautiful, beautiful hymn that is. One of the all-time great tunes. The words um, are stunning. The music is sublime. The music, by the way, was called Rockingham, if you didn't know it. Really, really sensational, isn't it? Really moving, really powerful stuff. Next hymn is a bit more uplifting. This is for Palm Sunday. It's all glory, Lord, and honour. And it is a request um, by, uh, by Greg, who is one of our patrons. So thank you very much, Greg. Indeed, this is, uh, this is one of the last hymns I played last week on the organ marathon, because this is in the final liturgical section in NEH. It's 515 or 16 or something in there. Um, so I, it's one of the last hymns I played. I will not play the start verses if that's okay. So we'll have verse one, uh, which is the refrain, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. So I'll just miss out two verses. It's fairly quick, this. We, we, we get through it fairly quickly. Valet um, will ich dir geben. And it's been harmonized by, um, by Herr Bach. Happy birthday, Bach. So thank you very much, Greg. Here we go. Palm Sunday, coming your way.
Thank you very much, Greg, for requesting that. And we had a little bit of Noel Rawson at the very end there. It's one of those sorts of nightmare hymns because there were so many verses. Um, and the refrain as well. It's very, very easy to get out of sync with your congregation. And that one, obviously Palm Sunday, um, is symbolic in a, a processional way. You know, it's a, a procession through Jerusalem, palms, and all of that sort of stuff. That a, a hymn, with it being the length it is, is often sung in procession. So you have all of those verses, all of those refrains, a congregation inevitably miles away, words that you can't hear. Keeping up with what verse you're on can be quite a challenge, actually. And I know that if I was uh, playing that live, as it were, in a big cathedral, I would be concentrating like mad on the verse. In fact, sometimes my page turner, I would ask them to shout out the verses. You know, what verse am I on? There's just nothing worse, is there? You will know this. I'm sure all of you who've played for a church service before have all had this experience. That sudden doubt uh, of, is this the final verse or is there one more to go? All had it, and I'm sure, it, and it's the worst feeling in the world. Um, you know, you stop and you just hope that you don't hear a single voice coming in, <laughs> carrying on, regardless. Um, or the worst thing, I think, I don't know whether it's worse to do an extra verse. I suppose if you do an extra verse, everyone knows what you've done, undoubtedly, and you can't hide it. Uh, but if people try to, um, well, the only thing you can do is improvise a way out of it, isn't it? Um, and make it sound as intentional as possible, I suppose, despite the fact that everyone else knew what has happened. <laughs> anyway, let's push on. Uh, so, uh, a kind maker of the world, oh, hear the fervent prayer with many a tear, poured forth by all the uh, penitent who keeps this holy fast of Lent. This is for Tristan, who is one of our patrons. Thank you very much. For requesting this. Um, if you are um, watching today and you're not a Patreon, uh, please do consider becoming a Patreon. Um, I spent a very happy couple of days in Truro and I was only able to do that through the generosity of supporters like yourselves. Recording organs like Truro requires having microphones, it requires having these cameras and it requires having all of that sort of stuff. So without your support, quite simply wouldn't be able to do it. So if you'd like me to do more of that sort of thing, recording other people playing these wonderful cathedral organs and me demonstrating them to you, you know, churches and cathedrals in England, the UK and in Europe and further afield, I can only do it with your support. So thank you very much for supporting me and for those of you who may become a Patreon who are just on the edge well, there we go. So here we go, Tristan, um, kind maker of the world.
Thank you, Tristan, for requesting that. That was a really beautiful hymn, wasn't it? Really, really stunning. Thank you for requesting that. Um, I've actually had a request to play something um, for the Annunciation of um, the BVM, the Blessed Virgin Mary. So actually, I think what we've um, what I've been asked specifically to play is the the uh, Schubert Ave Maria. Obviously, this is normally sung by a solo voice, accompanied by all sorts of instruments normally. To be honest with you, I've heard it accompanied by so many different instruments, I couldn't tell you what the original orchestration is. Is it piano? Or is it, I don't know, maybe it's piano. <laughs> um, anyway, you're going to hear it on the organ here, so you're going to hear all the parts on the organ. Um, and it, this is for, um, for Mark, who has asked for this. The launch pad has just fallen off, like it did earlier. The sooner I can get rid of the launch pads, the better. Uh, so Mark, one of our patrons, has requested this, and I'm very happy to play it. This is the Noel Rawsthorne arrangement of Schubert's Ave Maria.
Thank you very much um, for requesting that one, Mark. A bit of um, sight reading there. So if you're new to the virtual church thing, um, everything here is live, everything is requested live, and everything is sight read. So, you know, you, you can't guarantee, I can't guarantee you um, quality <laughs> and on this, on these uh, videos. Um, I can guarantee you a broad repertoire, um, a wide palette of music, and I can guarantee you organ music and chat. Uh, but for these virtual churches, as, as opposed to the organ recitals, sometimes we're a little bit hit and miss. It's live, it's informal, and that's one of the wonderful things about these occasions, as opposed to the Saturday night organ recitals. Wonderful arrangement there by Noel Rawsthorne. Okay, the next hymn. Um, nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to thee. Even though it be a cross that raiseth me, Still, all my song shall be nearer, my God, to thee. Nearer, my God, to thee. Nearer, my God, to thee. Text is by Sarah Adams, and the tune um, is by Lowell Mason, both of whom are 19th century. The tune is called Bethany. Thank you very much, John, for requesting this. Let's see how we get on. This is new to me. Um, a few new hymns to me today, so thank you very much for requesting new hymns. Apparently, this is in the film Titanic when the ship goes down. Okay, so that's a nice thought to have on our minds. Uh, as was the ship's going down, as the, 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 the string quartet are playing, um, I wonder whether they're playing this. I don't know. I'll we'll see in a sec. So, th 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 uh, thanks, John. Let's see how we go.
there we go. That was the um, um, uh, Nearer My God to Thee, sung um, or played on the film Titanic when the ship was going down. Sometimes feel like these um, virtual churches when things are going wrong are a bit like a sinking ship. Um, the next hymn, In Christ Alone My Hope Is Found, He Is My Light, My Strength, My Song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm, and so on. Uh, Portia and David have requested this, and it's a wonderful tune. It's a Stuart Townend uh, music. The words are by Keith Getty. This will be our final hymn tonight before we go into tonight's voluntary in honour of Herr Bach. Uh, it is his birthday today after all, so it would be rude not to play something by Bach. After this, actually, Caroline and I are going to record um, some psalms um, for Holy Week. During Holy Week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly Thursday, see how we go. We're just going to have um, half an hour live stream every night, quite late, 9 o'clock, 9.30 in the evening, UK time, um, a Compline type service. Some reflective hymns for Holy Week, reflective organ music, and some readings and a psalm as well. So we'll have a, a different psalm for each night, different music as well, but it, it will be live, just a, a nice way to, I suppose, end the day, you know, before going to bed. I know you guys in America, it'll be mid-afternoon, but possibly it'll be a finishing work just about, so you may be able to listen to it on your headphones, I don't know. Uh, so we're going to go and do that after this uh, virtual church day. We're going to go and record f three or four psalms. Okay, so here we go, Portia and David. In Christ alone, um, my hope is found.
Well, what was J.S. Bach's prelude of fugue in C major, BWV 550, uh, 547. It's not heard as often as some of the other preludes and fugues. Um, but I actually, I hold that in a dear place in my heart. The prelude, uh, particularly the prelude, was one of the first uh, big, you know, big preludes of Bach that I actually learned at university. Um, I performed it, in a, I remember performing it in a masterclass on this two-manual tracker action organ in a bone-dry acoustic, and I was just absolutely petrified. The, the audience were about, um, about three feet behind me, and everything was just so, so clear, and oh, gosh. So I, I, I hold that, hold that um, pairing in a very special place in my heart. I love the way the fugue makes you wait. He makes you wait to the pedal entry. Um, on, the, on, the, on the penultimate page, isn't that terrific? Well, it's eight o'clock now, we've had two hours today. Um, well, actually we haven't because we've had power cuts. Um, we've been taken off air by cats and all sorts of um, catastrophes today. So I hope, you've, I hope you don't mind uh, too much. And I hope you'll um, come back for more when it's hopefully a little slicker. By the way, the thumbnail in today's virtual church is of course Truro. I took it using a fairly wide angle, um, well, on, on the phone really, but it's got a wide angle lens on there. And it's of the crossing. And if you look carefully, you can just see a pair of the microphones um, facing towards the organ. So it is Truro. Um, I've got one more episode in the recording Truro series to come. And I haven't uh, made it yet, simply because it's all about the post-production process. Uh, that's the audio and the video element of it, how I um, mix the microphones together. I've had a lot of people asking for demonstrations of all of the microphones individually, which I was, I was going to do, to do anyway. You know, it'd be really interesting to, to solo out each pairing of microphone. So look out for that in the coming weeks. Um, next week, in theory, next Saturday, this is um, STC, subject to change. Um, I will be uploading a performance of the Trio Sonata Number no. 2 by Bach. That's next Saturday. Um, I'm not going to do it live uh, because there's too much going on in the house, um, which I'm sure you will, will appreciate. So I'm going to record it. Um, I'll try to do it in one take. <laughs> I might have to do it in two takes because uh, it's new, brand new to me. Um, so look out for that hopefully next uh, Saturday. Uh, the usual sort of time. And as I say, next, uh, the week after that, the Holy Week, look out for those um, very short um, videos, 20, uh, 30 minutes long, uh, be live, just very low-key, atmospheric, uh, um, hymns for Passion and Tide, very reflective organ music, a reading and a psalm. A perfect way to end your um, busy day. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much for your understanding. Uh, and patience today. Uh, things haven't been entirely smooth. And thank you all for your support. All of the uh, donations that you're giving me at the minute um, via PayPal, via Super Chat, um, are going into the new organ fund. So really excited about that. Now, of course, I bring you updates as and when they are ready. So until the next time, until the next video, um, don't know when that will be. Hope possibly next Saturday, possibly before. Um, we will both say cheerio. Good night, everyone. Stay safe and take care. Goodbye.